Hey YouTubers, this is Rob Moffitt. Guys, thought I would talk about something interesting today. Uh, Kindle Kids Book Creator. I've heard about this for a while, but I was never really interested in making a kids book until I heard recently about somebody who was using the people on Fiverr to make their illustrations, and they they use it to illustrate a book that they wrote over the weekend for their, their kids, and they end up selling like $80,000 worth of kids books in a very short period of time on Amazon using the creator and that got my interest but then someone also mentioned that this program can also be used to make books other than kids books and I'm kind of interested in that so I opened up the program and, and investigated and this is what I found out I spent about three hours the other day making a book a kids book and just as an experiment to see what it would uh, what it would be like how did the program work and as you can see this cover looks very good it's I use the Kindle cover creator that's also you can use with the program and these programs are super simple I'm like the lowest common denominator when it comes to technology <laughs> if I can do it anybody can if I can do it you can and uh, it's I mean I wouldn't be embarrassed to to uh, have this book with my name on it There's, if you look at that cover like I said a a children's uh, ABC book is the simplest book you could make. I wanted something really quick and just to see what would happen as an experiment. And I, I, I went on, uh, I found a bunch of photographs on uh, Creative Commons. These are photographs that are in the, the uh, public domain, and some of them you can use without attribution, and those are the ones I used. And I had to come up with a theme, uh, so I thought about, I would like to. Uh, children's book that I could tell kids about uh, America and what it meant to me and different things about it. It's very opinionated, very biased. Uh, this country's divided like 90% of the people will probably disagree. Maybe unsubscribe. I'm not trying to sell or promote or push this book. I'm just trying to tell you what I made. I had to come up with something, so that's what I did. But I'm kind of proud of it. Some people might like it, but I do. I think there are those people out there would like that think like I do. But, but I'm not trying to sell the book. I just want to show you what I did. I use photographs, and if you don't want to use photographs, uh, this is the cover creator, by the way. I'll, I'll leave a link down below in the video description. It's free to use with uh, Amazon. Uh, the uh, this is the book on uh, on Amazon. What it looks like you uh, can put it, it. It was published like in a matter of hours after I posted it. So. By the time I started the morning, it was uh, ready to go in a couple hours, and then I posted it. So it took about three hours to to uh, be online from the time I started to the time I finished. And the photographs, they, they need to be small in size because Amazon is going to charge you for the file size. So if you notice up here, this is a 2.2 megabyte. And with this program, it's called Riot. I'll leave a link uh, below in the video description also. It removed it to, or reduced it to 87 kilobytes. So that's extremely small. So this way you, you're able to make a very small file with your photographs or artwork. And what you're going to be doing is assembling your book out of photographs or artwork and then putting text on it or adding a pop-up box with text inside the pop-up box. And that's what I did. But uh, like I was going to say earlier, if you don't want to use photographs, you can use Fiverr. Now, Fiverr, you, there will be a charge if you use Fiverr. This, it's just a collection of people who do things for $5 or more. Uh, and you can have your artwork done for your book if you, if you don't want to use public domain photographs or if you can't make your own. But there's inexpensive ways you can do this, guys. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Um, now, the thing that has me interested is... Instead of just making a children's book, what if you had something you built and you wanted to have plans? So you had like 20, 30, 40 photographs or, or uh, line drawings of, of your plans of the item you're going to build. And each page would be a photograph or your artwork or your line drawings. And on the page, you'd have a little box where when people clicked on it, text would pop up to show about what they're seeing on the, on the photograph. And you can have more than one pop-up box, so 
you could have half a dozen on one page. We'll go into my book in just a minute and we'll show you what it looks like. But you could also do like nature guides. What if you had something in nature there's not a lot of interest in, but you're interested in it. You could make a book and, and uh, you could really corner the market if on certain things that are small because people often don't spend time in the past writing about things where they couldn't make any money. But if you can have something that you can publish almost immediately on something you can put together in the weekend, you could put and publish a lot of different books on different topics that previously people weren't interested in publishing. And you could make some money off of this. But also you could be proud about what you're doing too because you're, you're, you're putting something out there that, that, that's really interesting to you and you know there's going to be other people. It might not be a lot, but but you'll be able to share information. Uh, you could also do the same thing with cookbooks. Um, you could corner the market on left-handed vegetarian recipes. <coughs> you know, anything you want, you could do in a short period of time, and it would look really good with this with program. You could do the same thing with travel guides. Uh, so you don't have to just use children's books is what I'm trying to get at. That's probably the main message I'm trying to say in this video. I, I think it's really exciting. Now, uh, we have a little video clip of what the book looks like when I was finished. Like I said, I went and got different photographs from Creative Commons that were related to America. And then what I did is I wrote something about each one that was uh, what I thought about of the photograph and what I wanted the message uh, to be about that. So when parents or whoever was reading this book to their children, the, the text would give them something to talk about and start a conversation with the children. But like I said, in America, there's 10 sides to every opinion. So you're going to have people who are upset with different things I might say. So it's not going to be uh, something that's going to make everybody happy, but, but I'm happy with it. These are things that I feel uh, strongly about. And uh, I, I added text to each one of the photographs. So this is something you might want to think about. You could, you could write books for your own children and tell them how you feel about dirt, certain things. Because once they go to school, they're going to be taught how other people think your kids should be taught. So you want to give them the message you think in life and your culture and your people and, and in your country that are important to you. Um, so it, it's, it's, it's very good in that aspect, too. So think about this. There's something you have now, a program that's free. There's no gatekeepers. You can make your own book on different su subjects, different topics. It's almost effortless. You, so long as you have the artwork or the photographs available, and then you just write in what you want in the text box. You don't need ha uh, to use text box. You can actually write text on there. For instance, the text I have here you see on the photographs were used to, with paint, but the Kindle Kids Book program allows you to put text in also. So you want to check it. I'll have a link to the program below the video in the video description. So if you like this idea, I hope you might want to check out my book maybe. You can go on. It's only like 99 cents. You can leave a review if you like it. If you don't like it, you can forget that you saw this video. <laughs> But also, if you subscribe to my channel, there's a little bell up on top of the page. Um, uh, here's, here's the uh, page that shows where you can download the program. I'll leave a link. But if you go to my page, there's a bell up here. If you click that bell after your subscriber, uh, YouTube will notify you in the future when I upload a video. And in the near future, I'll be uploading a video uh, letting people know when the books I have for sale on Amazon are for free. So you don't have to pay for them, even though they're 99 cents. <clears throat> if you don't want to pay for it, you can get it for free in the future because I'll be putting them on for free in the future. Hopefully people will leave good reviews if they like them. So that's kind of it for this week, guys. It's, uh, it's not so much on how to make it. It's just showing you that when I did make, as an example, maybe to inspire you to get out there and make something. And not just kids' book. You can make maybe uh, something nonfiction on a guidebook or a cookbook or uh, a do-it-yourself book. I think it's pretty fascinating. Like I said, it's a very simple program. I can't emphasize this enough how simple and quick it was to make. So this is something you definitely want to try. 
Alright guys, thanks again for watching the videos. Come back, I put new stuff on every week. And I uh, hope to see you out there. And uh, if you make a book, I would like for you to leave a link so everybody on the channel can look at it too. Alright, take care.